Yer! I think I'm vlogging again. Is this is this on? Do I how do I start this series? No answer. So the first stop of today, we're actually in like this random area of Alabama, like I said. Look where we parked. But it's literally, we have no choice but to park right here. We kind of look like, like maybe like an undercover cop parked next to this abandoned building. That's the idea we're going with today. We're trying to go to this pretty much secret, almost looks like, like an Area 51, like it's tucked away uh, mausoleum, kind of like pretty much a funeral home almost. You'll see, we're, we're gonna walk there. Jeez. This place literally is like tucked away in the middle of nowhere. Oh, I love it. Seriously though. Guys, we're literally a group of people traveling around the whole United States searching for old forgotten places. Group of friends having amazing fun. Think about that. Jeez. It's wide open, boys. Memorial Mound. <laughs> it's weird because It's like, hey, welcome, join us. Signs down. Let's, let's go in. <laughs> Jeez. Now there is a dark past here. Um, last year, seven dead bodies were actually discovered down here. One was a baby and the casket was pretty much wide open. An urban explorer came here and they're the, they're the ones that found it. Happening right now, 24 hour security is in place at an abandoned mausoleum in Bessemer that was recently broken into. And disturbing video has surfaced showing ransacked crypts with bodies still inside. WIET 42 News reporter Lillian Lalo has been on the story all day long. She joins us in the studio. And Lillian, this sounds like it was pulled from a horror movie. So they end up calling the cops to recover the bodies. Uh, there's news articles, everything's online about this. It is pretty crazy. The idea was the guy actually came um, in 1990 and bought this 16 acre land, built this pot, spot with ideas that he wanted like to keep it like a traditional like Indian style. Like the way they bury their people it was like, it was something related to that, which he did. This place is literally in the ground and he did it in like an earth-like way. I mean, he, he really wanted it like this, built this way on purpose. And I guess because of like issues, people in conspiracies with local burial ground people and other funeral services that they're trying to put him out of business. And I guess because of financial issues, this place closed down, leading to where it is and what it is now. Just stuck here. Okay, we're going in. Okay. Dude, there was even a cross right there. You can still see like the dust around it. Oh my God. Yo. This is crazy actually. These are mint. These caskets are just here. People can really just come and pick up a casket. There, the lot, Matt, caskets cost a lot of money. Uh, to think seven bodies were recovered here. It could even literally be from these. When the cops took them out, they could have just left the caskets just like this. To think we're in an underground bunker-like thing is actually also cool. There's nothing over here. Maybe the caskets were on these things. Couldn't really tell you though.
Oh snap, right? I was the first one down here. I'm like, yo, what the heck? Dude, we found some great stuff. Uh, yeah, it's like, right? For urban explorers, this is like, what the heck? This is gold. You know, it's not just a typical, I don't know, like, yeah, it's, it's different things. We, you know, we're not, we're not exploring a school today. You know what I mean? Like the typical things. Yeah, this is different. I don't know if there's like any other ways or is it just like, just this? Is it, we gotta keep looking, I guess. Cause this place looks super small. Oh. Hey, what's this? This is it, back in the day. <sighs> when you care enough to provide the very best. That's what it says, but literally the bodies were just left here. I don't think they really care. Right, okay, this makes sense. So guys, if you don't know what a mausoleum is, I'm trying to explain it the best I can because I've already been to a few abandoned mausoleums. A mausoleum is pretty much, um, it's just a place where, it's like a grave site where they store bodies. But this one's in like, like I said, an underground bunker. Um, there's still a body actually, well maybe not, but the body's right there. That's the name tag of the person. And it seems like there's still two left. I, uh, let's check the back, I guess. Nope. They're not here. They're removed. Everything's been removed. That's good. Because before, they were here. That's the thing. Seven of the bodies were still here. And they were just... I mean, I could be wrong, but... It's okay. The news article is going to prove it. We're going to put that in this video. Jake Evans is a professional photographer who explored the structure last Saturday with three friends. He published this video in hopes that something would be done about the abandoned building. Renovated, shut down, moved, something, you know. A blogger under the pen name Naaman took these photographs and published them on his blog, What's Left of Birmingham. He told me, quote, Everything about this place is baffling. The concept, the execution, the robbing and destruction of it, all within 50 feet from a major road. This, this is what they were saying. I even read this as well. Why spend five to seven thousand dollars for a funeral and burial at Memorial Mound? Our cost is only two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars, including casket. That's two thousand eight hundred and fifty dollars. Visit Memorial Round. Oh my God. Pretty much, this is just an advertisement paper. This paper was probably at the like the end of the street when people are driving by. Because to do funerals and stuff, it costs so much money. But this place, the deal was, you can get everything for 2.8K. What's these? They look like really cheap coffins, like a vampire would be in these. But then these, some real things. And just the location of this place is intense. Definitely not liking this. It's all rusted up. So back in this room, by the way, that is the back room. So the mausoleum to everyone else looks like this, like a regular one would look like. All the bodies are here, you know, they're stacked in, but really behind there, it's just, you would see like all the coffins and how it looks, but. That's it of this place. Super small, actually. We got some like beat up computer. Stop expensive funerals. That's that's what this whole thing is to to win people over here. I was talking about how expensive funerals were. So now everything's clicking together, explorers. So like I said, seven bodies were found right here. One casket, two casket, three casket, four casket, five casket, six casket. And then there's a casket down there, but there's a baby's casket that was opened up in the other room. That's seven caskets. 
pretty much there's definitely other explorers that have been here and all these caskets were obviously placed right here and what happened was they probably just never opened them they left them here so then what happened was probably one explorer wanted to go grave digging and searching to see if there actually was dead bodies inside and they opened it up and they found the bodies so i mean you can tell too because they're all rusted up and they're all open they just left them here so they do the oh man that's nasty like like there's probably like dead like remains like dust or something of the people still inside these which is definitely nasty to think about but at the same time i mean it's dude like you know what i mean we, we've been through so much and seen so much through our lifetime of exploring and seeing dead people and you know in other islands and places that to me this i mean yeah it's a sad story but it honestly just don't even really phase me anymore you get you get numbed to everything you're just used to hearing this stuff or seeing this stuff also things are completely different in other, in other countries you know start like burning their bodies down a river and we all just watch and then this country is completely different like the way you know different cultures different things like in other countries like you know it's an honor to like respect and love the dead and and, and you know see them just get burned or something like that and you know down a river you know i'm just trying to explain this right it's kind of hard but like in this country it's like everything has to be done a certain way and you know what i mean it's just it's just it's different it's different it's less explicit and you know that's what we're used to exactly same with meat you see meat being hung and right outside and they're cupping they're chopping it up and they're and they're selling it but here everything's done behind the doors and everyone's like oh my god that's so nasty and, and things like that it's just different cultures I mean, it is what it is, Explorers. That's that's all. That's all we got there. It's a super small spot. Um, I thought it was going to be bigger. We all thought it was going to be bigger, but that's it. But everything inside in the store behind it is what really makes it spot, especially the location of it, too. We're heading out of here now. Okay, the car's safe. That's good. But what is this? God be glory in of... I can't even read it. It's all messed up. Dude, there's some weird stuff out here. We're in, I mean, we're in Alabama. Look at across the street. Christ City Center. Oh, God. <laughs> Dude, I love this stuff. I love the countryside or being in the middle of nowhere. And uh, actually, yesterday we were in West Virginia and it kind of had like the same feeling like this. And dude, Fallout 76 took place there. I love Fallout 76, I love video games. I'm going up to the sign right now, but this is crazy. This is actually like a good Instagram shot. Dude, what you think of this spot, bro? Should we explore it? I love this spot right here. That's why I'm here waiting for you. Is this like a mo? Wait, wait. Is this like a mo Sarge kind of explore? This is that, dude. There's ghosts inside of here. For yeah, <laughs> for definite. You see that old Coca-Cola sign? Yeah. That always is indicative of ghosts being inside of a building right there. Yeah, so I you think. You wear a dog. It's got all the signs of ghosts. Well, all right, all right. Let's let's say let's say this is a mo Sarge spot. Who else? <laughs> who else spot would this be? Who would want to explore something like this? Oh. Are we going to talk about Carlo now in this <laughs> vlog? Are we bringing out all the Canadians right now? <laughs> I believe most of you told me that gas stations like this is like Carlo. are Carlo's quality. Right yeah, it's here. true. So yeah, this, this is a special. Thing. This is a, would you say that proper people might want to explore this spot? Uh, I, don't, I don't know. Proper but, people. I don't know. They do good stuff. Yeah, they still. do good stuff. They do good stuff. It's still. not that Carlo and Mo don't do yeah, good stuff. Yeah, yeah, they do. Carlo's better than Mo, in my opinion. I gotta <laughs> say that. So. Yeah, you hear that, Mo? If you're watching uh -oh. this, this is it. <laughs> Carlos up. We're all just posing in front of this couch right now for Instagram photos, but it's actually it's actually a cool area. It's a good background. <laughs> All right, we're spending way more time than we should here. Explorers rise above, 
Just got out there, Explorer. Peace and thanks for watching. Tune in until next time. I think this was actually the building of the dorms. We got the beds here. They would all sleep up here. Look at the curtains and everything. That's crazy.